So I'm going to show you guys how to change the fuel sending unit on a car. In this case, we got a 99 Corolla. So the first thing you got to do is take off the rear seat. So this uh, popped a clip from the back. So now we got to open up the fuel pump assembly. You got to get a hammer and like a little flathead screwdriver and then just pry up right here. All right, the next thing you wanna do is take out the uh, negative uh, battery terminal. All you need is 11 millimeter uh, ratchet, and then, yeah, just take out the battery terminal, so. All right, now we gotta disconnect the power for the uh, fuel pump and all that stuff. So just lift up on the tap. All right, now you gotta take out this yellow clip right here. Okay. All right, next thing you wanna do is lift up on this cable right here and you better watch out because gas comes out of here so I have a towel ready okay, okay. all right next thing you want to do is get an eight millimeter ratchet and then uh, undo all these bolts right here there's about ten of them so With the last bolt out you can take off the metal to protect the fuel pump assembly and the fuel pump should come out all right, now we gotta try to uh, lift this out. There she be. <laughs> wow. So here's a fuel sending unit. That's what we're about to replace. This is a, a fuel strainer right here. I don't know what this is. This is a fuel pump right here. And yeah, so it, um, there right, it is. So let's let's take the baby inside. All right, now we gotta take out the old fuel sending unit, and we're gonna put the new one in. So the new one. This is a new one. This is the old one. And you can hear the old one makes a whining noise. That's why mine was so inaccurate. Uh, it's not coming out right now. Anyways, okay. <laughs> so this is how we disconnect it. Just get like a little flathead screwdriver like this, and then put it on the clip. Get both clips and then pry. And there we go. Old one out. And now get get the new fuel sending unit and then put it in. There we go. All right, now we gotta put the assembly back in. Make sure the floater is like facing uh, towards the steering wheel, like that. And then just put it in. There you go. Okay, now you gotta put this yellow clip back in. This is kinda hard, so just I don't know. Well. There we go. That's it. All right, now insert the power back in. Make sure your battery is disconnected. So that way you don't ground anything. There we go. Now we're done. Okay, so connect your negative battery terminal again. And then once you do that, you're gonna have to prime your fuel pump because you just took your fuel pump out. So now you gotta prime it. 
or else it'll do a little bit of damage. So what you want to do is you want to go from lock to on about like three to four times. So that way the fuel goes from the fuel pump to the fuel filter. So just do what I do. Okay. And then just do it again. And turn it off. And then one more time. And one, uh, one last time. Okay, let's start it. And there you go.